I want to talk about finding the parametric equations for a circle. Let's start by looking back at the unit circle. Remember the unit circle definitions of cosine and sine? We drew a unit circle, which is the circle x squared plus y squared equals 1. It's centered at the origin, and it's got radius 1. Now, if we make theta the angle between the positive x-axis and the terminal side, then the x and y coordinates of this point on the terminal side are going to be your cosine and sine. So that, those are the unit circle definitions of cosine and sine. But they suggest a parameterization of the unit circle, x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. And of course, you can get the entire circle just by having theta go from 0 to 2 pi. You can have it do more, but this is enough. Now let's see what kind of uh, parameterization that gives us. When theta equals 0, remember that we're going to be right here. When theta equals pi, we'll be up here. What this tells us is that as, it, as theta advances, we're going around the circle counterclockwise. We'll be here at pi, here at 3 pi over 2, and back here again at 2 pi. So the direction of the parameterization is counterclockwise. That's important. We'll talk about clockwise parameterizations a little bit later. Now let's talk about a parameterization of x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So it's also a circle, but this time the radius is r. Very similar. All you have to do is x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. Same restriction. You at least need theta to go from 0 to 2 pi. And again, this will be a counterclockwise parameterization of the, of the circle with radius r, starting at that right-hand point, r0. So starting right there. 